Hello beauties and welcome back to my channel. There is a huge hype on a new concealer and today I'm ready to give it a review and a full day wear test on my dark under eye circles, on my aging, mature, over 40 skin. I'm talking about the new Say Hydra Bean Concealer. I've already went ahead and applied the Say Skin Tint as well as I have done my brows. I will be leaving all the details of the products that I will be using today. Everything will be on the description box below along with the links for your convenience. So today I'm very excited because yes, I'm going to be trying the new Say Hydra Bean Concealer and I'm excited because this concealer has a lot of words that really like makes me excited like it's supposed to be a radiant concealer lightweight it's supposed to also blur and smooth the skin being a still lightweight now as you can tell i do have very dark under eye areas and this concealer it has a light coverage and you will be like oh let me click off of here <laughs> because uh while you're trying it you need more than a light coverage concealer but this is the thing my friends i'm on my fourth floor i'm already over 40 years old and honestly as you age and even if you're not aging and you just you know you just have under eye you know wrinkles or fine lines however you want to call it you know sometimes it's ideal to have if you're not going to go for a full face of makeup to just have a very lightweight concealer and you can still use a color corrector that just will you know like smooth out this area just conceal those dark circles without being too heavy without going into okay you know this is too much makeup and I think that is really important too you know I don't want anything that aged me and if you have been following me for quite some time you know that usually I don't set my concealers I just don't like to set my concealers I don't even like to set that much my face if I set my face it's mostly on this area where I have my enlarged pores so this concealer was like you know I really want to give it a go also because Knowing the brand Say, which is a clean brand, which they really want to do this no makeup makeup kind of approach, this concealer, you can also use it for a spot concealer. That's why it has a radiant finish too. So that means you can actually, you know, spot conceal, you know, those blemishes, dark spots that you may have. I do have a few sun spots here and there. And I think, you know, it's Again, I'm just excited <laughs> to give it a try right here. Now, this concealer comes in only nine shades, and I you're gonna be like nine shades, it's nothing. Well, if we go with the approach of say that is more of like a very natural kind of makeup, it makes sense. And also, if you see the shade range, I think it's very well spread. I'm sure as it is well received, this concealer, and if they see if it's truly something that you know more people is interested on i'm sure they may expand the shade range but basically i think they want to do something that is very stretchy across the board now the concealer is made in the usa it has a shelf life of 12 months and it comes with six mls which is a typical amount that you receive in most concealers usually they you get from the 5.5 mls all the way to 11 mls um, such as the dior forever skin corrector concealer now this concealer costs 29 dollars. i got it in the shade hb3 again i will be noting all of these details on the description box below as far as ingredient goes i was very curious because i was looking to the back of it and it says that it has jojoba seed oil which is a great moisturizing agent Escalate, which is a great occlusion and also mo it will keep moisturize your under eye area. It also has cucumber fruit extract, which I mean, I don't know if you have ever put some cucumbers on your eyes, but it's also refreshing, cooling, and the cucumber extract also brings absorbic and lactic acid, which in return it will protect and bring antioxidants for that very delicate area under the eyes. And talking about delicate area under the eyes, these concealer also have tomato extract and I have tried um, actually eye patches with tomato extract and what it does is actually brightens up the under eye area and at least with the under eye patches that I usually use with um, tomato extract I see that it doesn't only brighten it up my under eye area but it also with time it kind of evens a little bit the skin tone so anyhow let's see if all the promises are true right here and let's see how it works under the eye area so here's the unicard 
very consistent with all the other say products and i think i picked up actually a good shade now this component is not glass it's like heavy kind of acrylic and then let's take a peek to the droplet applicator Okay, be careful because there's some tag right here and hopefully it doesn't splash. No, it doesn't, so that's good. Now the doe foot applicator, it's a little bit pointy. Yeah, a pointy doe foot applicator. Okay, let's go ahead and start applying it right away. Okay. The texture kind of has like not liquidy, but has kind of like a whip kind of consistency. But the only thing I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't like that I have to pull because if I'm using something as light as my top that I'm using today, I'm scared that it was gonna splash. But okay, it does have a light, light texture. It's a whip consistency. You know that the texture kind of reminds me a little bit to the Power Fabric Concealer, that lightweight but not as liquidy. Okay, I'm gonna go with my Charlotte Tilbury. This is my color corrector, and as you can tell, this is a product that I love. I use it's one that I have a lot of experience with and I'm going to apply it on the under eye area on just one side and I'm just going to see how it plays around with my one of my favorite color correctors Now I know this concealer has a light coverage, not even light medium, so I'm letting it set just a little, that way I can get the most out of the pigment, and I'm going to go with this. Now I do have a ton of experience with concealers, so I will not dare to spread it with a beauty sponge simply because it's going to absorb some of the product. If it's damp, it's just going to dilute it a little. So I'm going to be using a Pat McGrath concealer brush. Any concealer brush will do. And I'm just going to start spreading it. Okay, definitely very light coverage and very lightweight. Now let's go for the other eye. Definitely I achieve a little bit more coverage right here than here. Now another thing, as you can tell, I do have hollowness under my eye area and that's something that I can only fix it with playing with different type of shades of concealer just to bounce the light and you just, you know, create an optical illusion. Otherwise it will have to be fillers and I'm not planning to do that at all whatsoever. Okay, I'm going to build up a little bit the concealer. Okay, I'm afraid of this pulling situation that it will just splash. I mean, I appreciate it because I know it's not going to be too messy if I, you know, go for a trip for it, but it has a tag right there. So I'm applying the same amount and see how well I can build up the coverage. And the concealer shade is actually really good. I decided to go for something that it will be more alike to my skin tone. I honestly do not like to use, you know, a very bright 
concealer for my under eyes because having dark under eye circles sometimes using a bright concealer it will just create this translucency and you will be able to still see you know the dark under eyes and that's exactly what I don't want for it to happen okay super easy to spread and here's building it up a little more super lightweight I mean like it's thin so thin not as liquidy as a Giorgio Armani power fabric concealer not as liquidy as that but more weep not moussey more gel like I should say and there you have it that's that okay I do have a little bit of redness right here I'm gonna leave the concealer and set on my right hand side but then I'm gonna set it with the say translucent setting powder the air set powder on my left hand side and I enjoy this setting powder because it's for one translucent as it says it does have a little bit of radiance but it's not too much that it would just you know bring any type of shimmer glitter or just unwanted shine under the eyes and it does a really good job i'm gonna go ahead and speed up the process right here i will apply the rest of my makeup i will give you a quick check-in after i apply my makeup to see how the concealer is going if it's creasing not creasing etc and then i'm gonna go out and about for my day give you a couple check-ins in natural light so that way you can see how the concealer is wearing throughout the day i film in natural light so what you're seeing right here this is what you will see if you were looking at me right here right now but then i will be going outside so that way you can see the concealer like you know under the sun i'm completely done with my makeup um let's talk about this concealer let me bring you just a little bit closer i think you can tell that it's very lightweight no matter what how much I have actually built it up you can see my under eye circles still peeking through now it looks very very natural it is extremely lightweight super easy to blend it just doesn't have enough coverage but I'm not upset about it because I mean from the get-go the coverage it's a light coverage so it's not that they are promising um, a light to medium coverage or buildable coverage they are not promising anything of that they are telling you from the get-go this is a light coverage period I mean there's no promises anywhere that you can build it up so I think it is true to what it is it is a light coverage concealer as far as radiance I feel it's not radiant as you may think oh it's gonna you know show some light you know reflection it's not I think it's very skin like natural with a little bit of that very subtle subtle radiance there's no um, I don't want to put anywhere of like it's not dewy it's not glowy and I really like the consistency too because it's not although it's very alike to the Giorgio Armani outer fabric concealer it's not as liquidy as that one this one has a gel consistency so it doesn't feel moussey but it feels just a little bit more weep than um you know a liquid a very liquidy concealer in general and as far as creasing goes i'm surprised this size is the one that i did in powder and look at that there's no real creasing and i try to build it up I have more than you know my typical amount of concealer and it's not creasing and on this side where I actually set it it looks you know it looks fairly smooth it does look fairly smooth I think overall 
it's a nice concealer, you know, for what I'm seeing right now. I have a few things to, you know, do throughout the day. I will take you outside, show you how it looks after a few hours of wear, and then we kind of like take it from there, and then I will come back and give you my final thoughts about this new Say Concealer. Here to uh, five hour past checking. Yeah, because I applied this concealer, it was like eight o'clock. It's right now 120. Uh, one a little bit past five hours and I just came back from Sephora so I went to check in for the new Sol de Janeiro leave-in um, hair conditioner and um, they didn't have it at my local Sephora but while I was on that area I was able to spray in the new Sol de Janeiro as well um, the Beja floor the, um, the spray the body spray I already have the actual body cream and it's beautiful beautiful is is a very light floral um with a little bit of like bright scent to it it's lovely it yeah it it reminds me a lot to go very hair it does have a little bit of that dna of baccarat rouge 540 and i will have to say that this is spray you know it has that dna and i think it's really nice i mean like if you're thinking about layering either your body lotion or you know any of the other fragrances that i have already mentioned i think this is a great way to go about it you know yeah it's very beautiful anyhow i ended up not getting it yet because i went for one thing and i promised myself it's like oh jacqueline the chanel lavage collection is coming there's other things that i want to get so i and trying to be like so anyhow but but i think it's beautiful so far so good okay going back to this concealer right here do you see what i see okay so we are already almost at six hour mark right and i had been out and about for my day i had been doing the stuff it is as you can tell very bright sunny california sunny the area that i live is not super dry but it's over 70 degrees right now not 80 degrees it's like i think 71 72 so it's nice warm day sunny and it's not humid we're not talking about here humid climate but it's wearing off this is the side that i apply the setting powder and also the corrector the color corrector and you see right there it kind of like the whole thing right here it kind of like it's gone and same thing right here. I mean, you can really see my under, my, my dark circle, sorry. One, it's not creasing. Two, there's no promise on this concealer that is full coverage. So no blame about it, but it's fading away already. I mean, for five hours, six hours, I really should say six hours because it's, I guess it's 120. Um... Yeah, almost six hours right there. I think, I mean, it's wearing off in a very graceful way too. Although the rest of my makeup is in pretty good condition. Except for my lipstick because I had been, you know, I ate while I was on the go. So anyhow, the thing that I have to tell you is one, that is not non-creasing. It doesn't crease. And even if it's fading away, it's not looking odd either. You know, obviously it's not, it's not the one that is going to cover my dark under eye circles, but it's one concealer that I will say this is kind of like an easy going concealer. Really nice consistency. I love that it never creases on my under eye area either side. So anyhow, friends, I will give it, I think, perhaps just two at the most three hours because I need... I need to do the stuff. I need to pick up my kids. I need to, you know, take my daughter to, you know, the activities after school. So, uh, yeah, so I have a lot of other things to do. But, yeah, so I, I will be back with you and let you know what I think about this concealer. But there you have it in, you know, in full sun. It is already 4.30 in the afternoon and I thought, you know, I just need to wrap up this. I need to get going with my days mom's life <laughs> that's what it is if you're wondering what i reapply on my lips or what i apply on my lips is this beauty right here from hermes in the shade 06 pourquoi camarine i will be leaving it on the description box below anyhow so 
let's see right here. I think the concealer does what it basically promised. It is a light coverage concealer. That's what it is. It does give a little bit of radiance. It's natural borderline radiant. It's not borderline matte. You know, sometimes natural can be right in the middle. This one has a beautiful finish. Um, it to me is not super super long wearing. I'm sorry, I'm grabbing right here, but I have this um, very bad headache. So anyhow, um, it you know it has creased just a little bit, but at the very 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 end of the day, just minimal right here, a minimal right here, which is completely normal. You know, it is start wearing off at about five, almost, yeah, five hour mark. I should say it start wearing off right here and right here. I mean, it's a light coverage concealer. I'm not going to expect for these to give me the coverage that I personally need. It works fairly well with my color corrector of choice, although I see more creasing right here. That means that, you know, don't pack too much. And I think that's the nature of this concealer. It's a concealer that is meant to give you this no makeup makeup kind of look. Um, very, you know, lightweight, not too much. Um, this is what it is. And this concealer to me is ideal for everybody, I will say, except for uh, people that has needs like me and my needs are my dark and dry circles. It doesn't have enough coverage for what I need, but I think it's suited for anybody like for a teenager to a young adult to a person that is over 40 over 50 because it's very forgiven under the eyes and if you are not battling and dealing with you know dark under eye circles if you just want you know like to even out the under eye area this concealer will give it to you in a very light wave and i think that is key a lightweight concealer that it will not gather on the fine lines that it will just you know like be just a little bit perfecting i think it's ideal for anybody like i said for me, unfortunately not, because I just have too much to cover right there. Um, but other than that, I mean, yeah, this concealer delivered what it was supposed to be. I wish, though, that it was a little bit more long-wearing. But then again, I mean, I first of all, I didn't powder here, okay? That's one thing. And then here, where I powder, I also have another product under it, a color corrector. So it's, you know, a product that perhaps is not supposed to be under that concealer. So give and take, I think in general, is a good concealer. I'm pretty sure it will be a great concealer for, you know, spot concealing certain like redness, you know, little areas that you don't want, yeah, that you don't want too much um, coverage because you just, you know, want a very light makeup look for the day, like on the go, running errands, going grocery shopping. Does it make sense? Um, I think it's in general a really good concealer. Okay, my friends, and I think this makes it for this video. I hope that you found it helpful. Let me know if you have tried this concealer. How are you liking it? And let's continue the conversation on the comment section down below. While you're at it, and if you haven't done so yet, I want to invite you to subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads and come and follow me on my Instagram. If you like this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, share it with family and friends. And until the next time, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye.